Vegas was an amazing trip for a lot of reasons. I got I gotta give big shout outs and props to my dude Sky for flying me out there so last minute with almost no prior preparation whatsoever. I appreciate it, man. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to you because I, I know some messed up stuff happened before you left for Vegas, so you kind of just dipped out. And I, I feel bad that I wasn't able to say bye, but still, man, I appreciate it all the all the same, all the same. Thank you so much, guy. This trip did a lot for me, and I know you're going to hear me say some of the things that I said before previously in other videos, updates, Twitter posts, etc., etc., but this trip really changed the way I look at my channel and the way I interact with other people as well. Now, not for the negative, of course, this was an eye-opening experience in so many ways, and first off, talking in regards to people, eye-opening in the sense that I never realized that there were so many people that I could meet at one time that I wanted to hang out with. Like, I never got a chance to really fully hang out with everyone that I wanted to, as much as I wanted to, because there were just so many of them. There were so many positive people there and um, recognizable people and familiar faces, and it would have been impossible to spread all that out over the course of three, four, or five days. So for the people that I did hang out with, I'm glad that we did make some memories together. Even the people that I only talked to once or twice, I'm glad at least some kind of rapport was made between us. These events are always difficult because you don't really have unlimited time to make these bonds stronger. So the time that you do have, you make the most out of it. And considering it was Las Vegas, I feel like a lot of us did that efficiently. Now, I'm not talking about in regards to anything fucked up, because, I mean, it is Vegas, but there were a lot of good times to be had all around. And you all know who you are. If I had a good time with you, you know who we'd had a good time together. Trust me. A big shout out to all those guys that I met at um, EVO. It was an amazing event. And, you know, those, those relationships that I made with people, some people may say that, you know, maybe they won't progress as fast or be as deep because, you know, I only meet them once every time I go to an event. But maybe sometimes in some regards, that's enough. I feel like I made strong bonds with people and I may not know them to the extent that I guess someone would know a person who they were around 24-7, like in high school or whatever. But because of these events are so far few and in between, and you go to them so rarely and manage to sometimes even never meet the people that you want to meet at them, still, it makes people feel more inclined to develop a deeper bond when they hang out with each other at these events because they know that they're, short, they're so short-lived, you know what I mean? So, in that regard, I'm glad that I went. I made new friendships, I, I deepened existing ones, and I feel a lot more wholesome because of that. I really do. Now, in regards to the YouTube channel and what this trip did, in changing my perspective of that, there's a lot to take into consideration, man. We are about to hit a major milestone, 200,000 subscribers, something that I, I, I could never foresee when or how it would happen, but it's upon us here. Here and now, it's upon us. And I'll share my thoughts with the 200,000 subscriber goal um, a little bit later in this video, not too much later, but for now, I just want to talk about where we're going after this milestone and um, this trip made me realize something, you know? I don't want to go too into specifics because I know this video is probably going to take a long time if I do that, but the trip made me realize that there's a lot more to me than Smash Brothers. And Smash Brothers, I love it to death, but there's more that I have to offer, you know? And there, there's, a lot, there's a lot more depth to my character than just one game, one category. Um, new Smash, that's the main thing that defines me for now, right? I've been doing my best to try to expand into other things as well and do so in the manner that I feel is fitting. That's why it took me so long to get these streams on point, but they are on point now. And now that I have everything done to a T and perfected, it made me realize, you know, Etika, like you, you have a lot more to give than just Smash. So I'm going to be doing my best to try to really mix it up over the next few weeks and really try to see exactly where the direction is that I want to go. Because at the end of the day, I'm not, you know, I don't say it just for joking around, you know, I'm not specifically a news channel or any kind of one category of channel, I am a mixed bag. That's something that I pride myself on being. Even if I don't show it in terms of what I upload all the time, I still feel it in my heart that I'm someone who's more than just a gaming channel or related to the like, you know? I wanna make sure that I reinforce that and that I'm able to give you guys a variety of content that, you know, revolves not around just one category, but around me as a person, me as a human being, I want you dudes to experience what I got to offer, you know? So, 
that's one thing Vegas also helped me to realize as well too because I was making so many friendships and I was seeing Smash do so amazing out there and I was saying to myself you know like this field is incredible as it is you know like I've made all these bonds but like I want to experience this more I don't want to just be in the Smash community I want to be in so many other communities I want to meet so many other people travel to so many other places there's so many other things that I want to do along with this this is just one category of people this is one category of gaming this is just one category, gaming. I want to do more, man. I want to go out there and explore more because if everything in Smash Brothers is this amazing and just itself, imagine what the whole goddamn community in terms of gaming on YouTube can offer, you know what I mean? I don't want this to just be my only event, Apex and Evo. I want to go to everywhere. I, I want to go everywhere. Playlist, I want to do everything. So I'm going to be I'm going to be really trying to get back to the roots, the deep black roots of my channel and really see you know what this was never about one category of thing this was about everything that I had a passion for where my heart was and I'm not going to be so restrictive when it comes to the stuff that I put up on my channel now because I know for a fact that you guys would support whatever I do and you usually do with flying colors you love all the random stuff that I post like rest in peace Shofu's room we didn't actually fuck it up by the way or break the glass but I mean this trip was amazing in so many regards, and it gave me a level of perspective that I don't think I've had for a long time now, over a year. At some point in my YouTube career, I think I forgot what it meant to be, to be an individual unique presence. I was so caught up in doing what was hot and covering things that were, you know, po uh, trending at the time, but I still had a passion for. I always made it a policy if, is it trending? Yes. Is it popular? Yes. Do I love it? Yes. All three checks, then do the content. But I forgot at some point what it means to just do what I love without it being trending. Because whenever I did something that I loved without it being trending, it wouldn't really get the views, so it wouldn't progress my channel. And so I would find myself stagnating. But now that I have this massive audience, it's a different equation. It's a different total channel. And now anything that I post will get the reception and potentially if you guys love the stuff that I post, the little weird things that I post that I'm passionate about rather than just Smash, I feel like it'll get the same love that Smash does because there are a lot more of you to see it and compare. Oh, Etika, man, I like that weird shit too, dude. Holy shit, I didn't know you were about this. Let me give it some love. And that's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. So... Prepare yourselves, man. Um, 200,000 subscriber mark. Now, in regards to this milestone, like I said, I could not foresee when or how this was happening when I started this thing back two years ago, but it has happened, man, and I'm excited about it. To be honest with you guys, and I'm not saying this to sound like I'm being an elitist or anything, but I almost feel as if, you know, wow, it took me this long to get here. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm thankful for everything that I have. Don't get me wrong. And every single one of you that pressed that subscribe button are appreciated more than words can express. But I know I'm, I, you know, at, when I started this whole thing, I knew what my potential was. I knew what I could do out there. I planned and I thought that I, I thought and planned and laid it all out. And, I mean, I'm not an idiot. Like, I, I know what my own potential was. I knew I could become big on YouTube. I knew that I could do the things that I love and people would share those same interests. And I feel as if, you know, 200,000 is great that I'm hitting it now, but I want to do more, you know? I'm pretend, like, I have more in me than that. This isn't going to be where I peak. I want this to be the beginning. I truly feel like I can be a creative presence out there in so many more ways than one. And even though it would be spreading myself thin, with the resources and being able to use the contributions from you guys and the money that I make off of YouTube to get better gear, better gear means that there is more of me to go around. And that I, I feel like that's a main thing right there. Like The more gear that I have, the better equipped that I am to do multiple kinds of videos in the easiest way possible means that I can do them with, lift, like with minimal effort. You know what I mean? Minimal production effort. And that's what the goal is right now. So 200,000 is an amazing place to be regardless, and I, I expected it to happen, but I didn't know when, and now is a great time. It, it, it's as good of a time as any for me to move onward from this goal, guys. This is going to be a lot that I'm going to be promising, and I promised a lot before for 100,000. I'm going to be delivering. Cooking with Etika is coming, nigga. Um, what else is coming? Uh, the shirt story. It's coming at 200,000, man. It's a very crazy story, and it has legal implications, but I'll tell you guys. 
I'm 200,000. I promised you I would. I can't believe it happened this soon after I said that I was going to hold off on it before with 100,000. But it, that's my fault. I underestimated you guys. And that's one thing that I constantly make an error with. I underestimate how fucking insane you are and how quickly you do to blow the numbers up. I keep making the same mistake over and over again. I'm Hopefully, I'm not going to make it again. You dudes are amazing in all regards of the word. And the support that you've had is just out of this world, man. Thank you guys so much. Also, a couple other things that we're going to be discussing later on, either today or tomorrow. Um, there's going to be, we're going to be raising funds in a certain way for cancer research. And um, I, I'm doing, we're, we're doing it in an interesting way. Some of you may have seen some pictures from Twitter of what I'm exactly talking about. You've seen the stream, maybe. I'll be explaining that more in the videos later on, guys. But once again, we're here. We're live. This channel is still thriving. We're moving forward. And now with better perspective, better foresight, better preparation, and all in all, a better outlook than I've ever had in the entirety of my channel beforehand. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I appreciate it from the bottom of my black balls. We're moving forward, man. That's what this is all about. Progression. We're not stagnating. We're not, we're not becoming complacent. We're constantly looking to improve. We're constantly looking to expand. We're constantly looking to progress and surge forward in the most efficient way possible. I'll talk to you niggas in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourselves a damn good one.